The Defamation League says the number of anti-Semitic cases in last year in New York nearly doubled. That is the biggest increase in decades. The question now, why the big increase and why now? I want to see reporter N.J. Burkett is live on the east side of Manhattan with our lead story tonight. N.J. That's right, Liz, live outside the Sutton Place Synagogue, where someone scrawled a swastika across the doors here last year. Just one hateful act by one hateful person in a disturbing wave of bigotry that is apparently sweeping the nation. This has been a sea change that we've seen uh unlike anything before. Experts say Jewish New Yorkers are being targeted in numbers that haven't been seen in years. According to the Anti-Defamation League, anti-Semitism is surging in New York, with 380 incidents reported last year, an increase of 90 percent. Specifically, assault, vandalism, and cases of harassment. Incidents in schools have doubled over last year and are up 130 percent on college campuses campuses. We've seen a lot of swastikering at schools, kids' lockers getting swastika, uh, notes uh, carving in their desks. We've had incidents where classmates have gone up to Jewish students and said you should be gassed. Bernstein says it's a wave of anti-Semitism that has swept through every corner of the city and in every corner of America. Nationwide 2017 posted the largest single-year increase ever recorded by the Anti-Defamation League. Just this week, cars were vandalized in Brooklyn. Any sign of a swastika is, is, is very hurtful for us. It's a very serious thing. The ADL believes that hate groups have been emboldened. The number of anti-Semitic incidents began to spike shortly after the last presidential election. We don't feel that there's more anti-Semites in America. We just feel that the anti-Semites that are in America have been activated uh, at a higher level than we have seen in decades. Bernstein says New Yorkers need to continue to call out acts of hate every time they happen. When something happens, the worst thing that someone can do is not report it. But Bernstein told me he does not blame President Trump specifically, although he does fault the president for not acting quickly or decisively enough to call out acts of anti-Semitism and other forms of bigotry.